Yo, what is going on guys? It is Rain here, back yet again with a brand new Booga Booga video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys something that's pretty interesting. So I had a long conversation with BMO, the, the moderator of Booga Booga, technically the second in command. Well, I consider him as like second in command of Booga Booga, like right under Soybean. But he has a lot of insider information. And he actually gave me some of this information today and gave me permission to tell you guys it all. Now, none of this stuff is 100% confirmed, okay? It's all possibilities, so keep that in mind. But I thought it was really cool to just go over what could be coming into Booga Booga in the next update. So let's hop right into this. So BMO messaged me. He said, watched your video. If you're confused by anything, you can ask me questions and I can explain it to you. As Sawyer never goes into detail about explaining stuff. Now Sawyer is soybean for those of you who don't know that, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys do. But basically BMO just offered to help me out here if I'm like confused about anything he said in the Discord. And I could get like better information to tell you guys at all but anyways i'm like appreciate it the only thing i really find questionable about the update is the pets i don't really think they should exist considering we already got animals we can interact with in the game now obviously we kind of have mammoths and stuff like that i don't want like pets following us around like they do in treasure hunt simulator or meep city like that just seems like it'd be too much of a role play game okay this is a survival game like, do you guys want a mini saber tooth tiger following you around? That's kind of lame in my opinion. You know how you could put a saddle on a mammoth? Well, let's say you could tame animals and you can send them to go attack people and stuff like that. That'd be really cool, but not just like regular pets that follow you around and just there for looks, okay? Then BMO says, that's just him thinking of stuff on the spot. So, it's 100% not confirmed yet. It's just him thinking of ideas and asking everybody else it. Then he's like, that's why we are taking suggestions. I do know that special skins and specific hats is confirmed. So right there, skins for your rock is gonna be confirmed and specific hats for your character is confirmed, okay? Those are the two things that are actually confirmed on this update. Then I gave him an idea, maybe you can unlock a new tier of armor every mojo. So every time you rebirth, you get like, uh, let's say you rebirth three times, then you can get emerald, something like that, I don't know. But I just thought it would be like a neat idea, give you more stuff to do in the game to work up for. And then he said, but then you make it too hard for the young people and would be unfair to low levels, which I agree with him there. I didn't think about that. It would be definitely unfair to lower people who can't really like get to level 100 that quick to be able to get like the next tier of armor. Then he basically said in my video, it sounded like I was confused when I was talking about more structures for defense. Now, I kind of was when I was going over that update. I really didn't know what that meant. I thought it was like more structures, like maybe an Adorite wall or something like that. But basically what he told me here is that there can be like spike walls and catapults so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool that like that's more impressive than what i thought before like imagine having a catapult right and flinging like rocks at your enemies like how cool would that be guys then i said do you ever think we'll get an option to kick people out of our vip servers like jailbreak has now the reason i asked this is because in jailbreak you're actually able to kick people out of your server um like these youtubers do streams okay like simon says streams mini game streams and then Sometimes there's people who are like the troll, okay? And to get the trolls out, you can kick them out of the server. So you're only left with the fans who are actually following the rules and stuff like that. But if you were to try that in a Booga Booga private server, you would have way too many trolls and it's just not possible to actually do it and have it like all organized and stuff. But then he did confirm that we will be adding kick or ban to VIP servers, so that is going to be coming soon. You can actually kick people out of your VIP server if they're like annoying you or whatever it is. You don't want them there. Let's say you got an exploiter in your server, well, you can actually kick him out of the game and get him out of there, which would be pretty cool. Then he says, also the combat healing, yes, you won't be able to heal while in combat, but if you're out of combat, you still eat to heal, or use campfires. So, you guys can only heal up if you're out of combat. And he said, campfires will not stack, so you can't have 20 campfires healing you. So you know how people placed a bunch of campfires around to, like, just keep on healing faster? Well, that actually got changed. You're only going to be able to have one campfire healing you. I mean, you can have multiple around you, but only one will, like, be healing you up, okay? So it's going to be a little bit slow healing up, but then I recommended, I'm like, I don't think you should reduce healing all the way. You know how Apoc has it where you can hide and use blood bags really quick and hop back into it? And he's like, yes, but in Apoc, you're at range and you have stuff to hide behind to heal. And I'm like, okay, that's true. I just feel like two dudes gang up on you and you got zero chance. Healing kind of added another element to combat, and in my opinion, it kind of did, okay? Because, let's say you got like a tribe of three people coming after you, right? You'd have no chance if they all have emerald armor, but if you have food, you could be taking them on one by one, 
one might forget to heal and stuff like that, and eventually you could get them, so you have a much higher chance of winning if you actually do have, like, stuff to heal up with, but that's kind of gonna be removed, I guess. But, like, one thing he did say is we could have a healing item, but add a cooldown so you can't spam it. So, basically, we could have, like, something... I, I don't know, I recommended to him a herb. Like, have a herb that you can eat or something like that, and it would heal you up while in combat, but it would have a cooldown on it, so you could only use, like, one herb, like every so often, right? So you can't spam abuse it like these auto clickers that have been going around recently. Players with like a bunch of blood fruit and stuff use auto clickers to heal up almost instantly, so that would prevent it and to be honest, that's a really good idea. Now that isn't confirmed of course, but th once again, these are all just ideas that are coming out. Then I asked him, when you die in Booga, you lose like 20% of your ores or something, right? Then he says, you lose all your tools and armor, not your inventory. So if you killed someone with emerald armor, they will drop emeralds because of armor. And I'm like, damn, I never realized that. And that's pretty cool. So basically, let's say I were to kill a crystal player who has full crystal armor. Well, the armor would then drop into crystals and you could pick those up. I thought it was like always you drop a little bit of your inventory. But no, it actually goes off the armor and tools that you have, which is pretty cool. But apparently he says, yeah, that's why it's not good to make sets of armor because you'll lose a bunch, okay? So be careful, guys, there. Then I asked about the old map here, and he said, We have talked about map changing. It could happen. Sawyer likes a map with a bunch of islands like the one right now, and I like just one big island with different biomes. And in my opinion, I kind of like big islands. Like, if you have big islands, you can claim it and build like a huge base around it, and it's like in the center of the map and everybody sees it. So that's pretty cool, but with smaller islands, you can't really make these big bases anymore, which kind of sucked about the new map here. But anyways, that's about it for the update section. Thank you, BMO, for actually telling me all this. Like, I appreciate you giving me the insider information to make videos on. Like, I just love informing all my fans and stuff about what's going on. And I'm really happy you guys are actually putting an effort to keep the game updated and stuff like that. It actually shows. Like, check this out. The player count is at 15,000 people playing at, like, 8 p.m. at night. Like, that shows that it's helping you guys out as well, too.